The Ukraine crisis, it's the final hours of Secretary of State John Kerry's face-to-face -face abroad before he returns home. He's looking for a breakthrough, and ABC's Martha Raddatz has the latest. Joins us live. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Robin. Secretary Kerry is already hard at work in urgent meetings, but time is really running out. This morning, the widening crisis in Ukraine is leaving all sides on edge. The Pentagon now sending additional fighter jets to the region to help NATO monitor any Russian violation of airspace. On the diplomatic side, Secretary Kerry met face to face with his Russian counterpart for the first time since the crisis began, urging Russia to pull back its troops in Crimea. We cannot. Uh, and will not allow the sovereignty of the country of Ukraine to be violated and for those violations to go unanswered. But any hopes of getting the Russians and Ukrainians together to talk here in Paris are now crushed. The Russians refusing a meeting, though Kerry tried to downplay the significance. Let me make it absolutely crystal clear. I had no expectation, zero expectation that today uh, that kind of a meeting would take place. Meanwhile, while diplomats talk, thousands of pro-Russian protesters took over a government building. And in Crimea, it got very personal. Armed men even accosting and threatening a UN envoy who was forced to leave and return to the country's capital. There will be another face-to-face -face between the U.S. and Russia today, but, George, there is really very little hope for a major breakthrough.